G'day ABM members, uh, today I wanted to do a quick video just to demonstrate to you guys how quick and easy it is to do a digital takeoff on BuildExact's estimating and job management software. I'm going to get stuck right into it and uh, this is the uh, the dashboard you see when you log into uh, BuildExact and when we click on estimates uh, we can click on all the jobs that we have in our system so I've got like a test job that I've created here uh, I'm just going to click on that and click on plans and takeoffs and this is the most common feature you'll probably end up using once you subscribe to build exact um, as you can see this job we've called it test one it could be a job address um, customer name Jane Doe or in your case whatever your customer name is uh, we've uploaded the PDF uh, working drawings into the, uh, the program and we've scaled those drawings and I'll do a separate video on how to scale drawings in build exact it is quite easy, it takes quite literally a few seconds to do, but we won't worry about that today. Um, this area here is where we have a summary of all our um, takeoffs. So by clicking this plus symbol here, add measurement, we can add a new line item. And let's say we wanted to measure something like carpets in, in this house. We just type in, actually, you know what, let's do floor tiles. Floor tiles, and I'll tell you why in a second. But, and then we pick our unit of measurement. So here we can pick from one of four different measurements. Uh, in this case, we want to measure in square meters. So we'll click square meters. And this little triangle symbol here is your takeoff tool. So once you click that, it'll open up your, your drawings. And we're on the correct page. So we want to measure off our floor plan. Let's say we want to measure the tiles, the floor tiles in this ensuite here. So I'll just zoom right in. And up the top left hand corner we have some measuring tools so because we have a rectangle shaped room I'm just going to pick the rectangle tool and all I need to do is just click on one corner of the room and then just use my mouse to go across I'm, I'm going to include the area within the basin too of the vanity assuming that's a wall hung uh, and just click again and then we get six just over six square meters of floor tiles in the ensuite. So it's very quick, it just quite literally takes you seconds. And you can continue doing other wet areas as well. So you can zoom into say the laundry, bathroom or powder room. And once again, if you wanted to um, take a measurement of a room that's not rectangle, that's uh, an, an odd shape, then what you can use, you can use your polygon tool here. And then you, you click on a starting point and then you quite literally just trace around the area that you want to measure. So if you want to measure around cupboards, that's quite easy to do that. And you go back to your starting point and bang, it keeps a running total up here. It does have individual measurements just above the areas that you've measured, but it does keep a running total on the top right hand corner here as well. So once you're satisfied and you're happy with what you have, you just click the accept and save button I'm not going to do every room and that will summarize it on this page here so your floor tiles 8.7 square meters in total of floor tiles so you're going to ask so how do we do wall tiles uh, considering there's going to be different wall heights in every job well that's easy as well so I'll just click my plus symbol again add a new line item call that one wall tile again we'll keep it on square meter and we'll click our takeoff tool button here, the triangle symbol. And once again, the plans will pop up. And I'll go back to the ensuite. And let's uh, assume this is a house with a 2.7 uh, meter ceiling height. And I want tiles around the entire perimeter of the. Um, oh, actually, I want tiles on this wall here from floor to ceiling. And I want floor to ceiling tiles above or well, technically above the vanity all the way to the to the ceiling so I would choose instead of choosing one of the first two symbols I'll choose my line item tool and as soon as I do that it'll ask me for the, the height uh, the ceiling height so I'll go 2 points or 2700 millimeters and now if I click on my starting point and I measure across to the other corner of the room or in this case I would probably measure right up to the edge of the vanity and it would give me a grand total of 6.86 square meters of wall tiles just along that wall there it automatically calculates the wall height and converts it into a square meter quantity for me 
So if I want to do the perimeter around the, the vanity, then I would work out what my vanity height is and that, that'll be the starting point of my tiles. So I'd go back to my wall height measurement and instead of doing 2700, I would deduct the, the height of the vanity, which let's say is 900 for argument's sake, and so we have 1800 remaining. So once, I'll start from this side, once I start measuring, now it will measure it based on the new wall height that I've given it. So in this case it's 3.28 square metres of wall tiles at 1800 millimetre high wall. And I can even do this little bit here. So I can do that, add it in. And it still keeps a running total, which is fantastic. So I can save and accept that, and I've got... Now I can do... I can categorise each room separately here, so I can go wall tiles ensuite, I'll do another one wall tiles bathroom. Um, so you can add as many additional line items as you like. Now let's do a quick example of concrete takeoff. So I'm just going to write concrete slab and to make it simple, actually before I say that, we choose our unit of measurement, so it'll be cubic metres, we're working out concrete quantities. And we hit our takeoff tool. And I'm just going to assume this slab is 100mm depth. And I'm not going to worry about any edge beams or internal beams. I'm just trying to demonstrate to you how quickly and easily we can. So this could be a driveway. It could be an outdoor patio area, a porch. Um, but we can talk about doing proper slabs too later on. So here we nominate the depth of the concrete. So let's say it's 100 millimetres. I'm going to choose the polygon tool because the, the shape of this floor plan is not a perfect square or rectangle. And I'll zoom right in and pick my starting point and start from the edge of the garage and we'll just work out the way around by clicking on every corner. And then you can even drag the plan as you go along. I'll include the uh, alfresco as part of the main slab. And I'll just drag that down so we can get this corner. And you just keep working your way around, clicking at every corner. I'm going to assume the, the front porch is a, a strip footing, so I won't include that and until we get back to the starting point. And just click on that. As you can see, we have 18.3, 18.8 cubic metres of concrete at 100 mil. And if I was to measure somewhere else on the plan, it would just, again, keep a running total up in the right-hand corner here. Save and accept, and it summarizes here on the main table. Now I'll quickly show you one about bricks. So we want to work out brick quantities, type in brick. Now most of you know that um, every square meter of uh, brick translates to roughly about 49.50 bricks. So we can use that formula once we work out what the square meter of the surface area is. So we'll leave our measurement on on, on square meter and we'll hit our takeoff tool but this time rather than using the floor plan we will change the page to our elevation um, and we'll zoom right in and it's really simple once again if I'm going to measure this the surface area of this front elevation I would choose my rectangle tool it's a nice flat block so I don't have to worry about any uh, changing levels I'll click on one corner drag it across and click again and you're going to say okay well that's good but what about all the um, the openings well that's easy as well so there's a tool up here that says it's a deduction tool so you draw your deductions click on that I want to deduct my garage opening now I just click on the corner of the garage and then click on the other corner and then it minuses so it's minus 6.34 square meters from the previous total and I can do the same thing for my entry door and the front window and there you have it that's the total minus the deductions which is fantastic now I can go back and do all the other elevations and then uh, end up with a grand total of square meter each and then we can multiply that by 49 or 50 uh, to, to work out the exact number of bricks we need for this home. Once finished, just once again, save, and it keeps a running total. 
this saves you guys heaps of time. I mean, you can throw away the scale ruler, pen, paper, calculator. You don't need any of that stuff anymore. This is the way to go. So if you're not using um, your computer to do your takeoffs, uh, you're just wasting a lot of time. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Take care.